Okay, now that I got everything put back together, let's go ahead and start this beast up. And it is running Microsoft Windows XP Professional. Actually starts up pretty quick for a computer with these specs. And this is a fresh install of the operating system. Whenever I get a computer in, the very first thing I do is wipe the hard drive as a courtesy to the person who owned it initially. And I have optimized it. I don't know if my camera and this light will pick everything up, but there we go. It's still booting. While it's doing that, I'll go into my computer and show you some of the specs on this. And it does take a minute to come up. Again, this is a fairly old and outdated system. But believe it or not, it's still good for many tasks. I've put Microsoft Office on it. It's good for word processing. Um, internet use. It actually plays YouTube videos pretty well. There we go. Okay, so again, it's Microsoft Windows XP Professional 2002 with Service Pack 3. Specs on this are, it is a Intel Celeron D 2.53 GHz CPU and has 1.25 GB of RAM. Um, again, it can go up, this model can go up to 2 gigabytes. Unfortunately, I don't have another 1 gig stick, so this is the most I can put in it right now. And originally, this did come with only 256 megabytes of RAM, so it's been upgraded by 1 gigabyte, which is not too bad. Anything 1 gigabyte or over, Windows XP runs fairly well. I did upgrade the hard drive. Uh, originally this had an 80 gig drive. You can see right now what's in it is actually, uh, it's actually a 250 gigabyte hard drive. But as most of you know, Windows uses a bunch and when you have a drive you never have the exact amount it says. Like a 250 gigabyte hard drive usually starts off with about 240 gigabytes free and then Windows take some. So right now with all the programs I've it's sitting at about 211 megabyte or gigabytes free. And we'll show you. It does have integrated video. The video card in here is the Intel A28 uh, 65G graphics controller. Fairly standard for these systems. Um, pretty much all of these from the 2300 series up to this used some form of the Intel graphics. I believe this is like the 915 or a 910G chipset. And as you can see, it actually is 96 megabytes of memory. Now that is shared with the system RAM. Um, as you know, as you may or may not know, most Intel graphics cards do not, they don't have their own memory. It's all shared with the random access memory that's in the computer itself. Okay, everybody, so that's a quick look at the Dell Dimension uh, B110. I hope this video is going to be useful for some of you guys. I know that there are a lot of these systems out there. Like I said, Dell went crazy when building these. And th what I've shown you on this should work for many of the other models. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment um, or send me a personal message. And please like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.